Alex or somebody signal to me or, or uh, Alex to speak up. Okay. Got everybody? Except you. Except I, me. You know, I was surprised how this was me that was with the property. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. It's, Nobody kept it up. You know, it, well, Royal didn't. His health has been declining, so all he did was mow the front lawn. Did you fill out an appearance form? No, I was too young. Are you planning on seeing these guys at all? 50. No, there's no case he was going to come. Case is going to be sure. The ones going to lie. We've got to live on the show. So that would be the only guy. Right. You need to maintain a six foot distance. That's probably your kids. Or your all together. Family. Okay. We'll see each other every day. Okay. That's fine. Okay. It's just kind of shocking because that was always kept pretty immaculate. Oh, yeah. Right. Does he still live in that house? House is there. I think the house is there. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. How are you? How are you doing? Good. I have a red pin with me today, and I don't think I, I should it. sign this thing with the red one. That would look kind of strange. I'm a person over the bosses. And I haven't set up that we're presenting. I'm going to blame it on my wife. She swept my pins, yeah. and then I don't take yeah. what was left. And just removing it from front of the And uh, <clears throat> you bet. Thank you. Did we get everybody in? Did you say Mrs. Vicky is still here? Yes, she is. Yes, it looks, kind of nice. it looks very nice. Then they painted the barn a year or two ago. And, yeah. Or even uh, uh, she still does. She still does. It's her her money, it's her choice. But a dog. She's no, she's uh, middle upper nineties. Yeah. And uh, one daughter stays with her overnight, Carolyn Ward. Yeah, you're right. Yep, and uh, and and takes her around and does all that. So, yeah. Oh, it's good to kind of get through the table. Yeah, yeah. Your crops look good. Too. So far, so good. Yes. Right, guys, let me know when you're ready. Almost there. Sure. Jason, did we have forms out for people to, if they want to testify? Yep. Give, okay. Yep. So if anybody, I think we have most of them, right? You want testifying today, so we should be we should be good to go on that. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Morning. Okay. Good morning, everyone. We're going to call this meeting of the Wapaga County Planning and Zoning Committee to order. This meeting and all other meetings of this committee are open to the public. Proper notice has been posted and given to the media in accordance with Wisconsin statutes so that the citizenry may be aware of the time, place, and agenda of this meeting. Due to COVID-19, this meeting is conducted under Wapaka County Resolution Number 8, 2020-2021. Please note the following information. 
The meeting will be broadcast for remote access on the live stream at YouTube and YouTube address is available. It may inadvertently cause a quorum of other county committees or county board of supervisors. No business decisions of any other committees or the board of supervisors will be conducted at this meeting. Participation in person is permitted. The meeting will, meeting will be conducted using the CDC and DHS guidance regarding social distancing. Tables, chairs will be arranged accordingly. Face coverings are encouraged. Roll call indicates all committee members are here. Have you had a chance to look at the agenda? I make a motion we approve the agenda. Thank you. Motion by Supervisor Federowitz. Is there a second? I'm seconded. Seconded by Supervisor Muck to approve the agenda as published. All in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Those opposed? Motion carries. Thank you. What is, what is your uh, wishes on the minutes from the May 19th meeting? Motion by Supervisor Kussman to approve the May 19th meeting minutes. I'll as second. seconded by Supervisor Murphy. All in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Those opposed? Motion carried. Thank you. And then we've got the, the minutes from the May 26th, 2020 meeting also to, to review. Make a motion to approve as printed. Moved by Supervisor Muck to approve as printed. Is there a second? Second. Seconded by Supervisor Murphy. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion carried. Thank you. We do have a time slotted for public comment on items not on the agenda right now for people who are in person at the meeting. If you if you are on the agenda, then you don't, this doesn't pertain to you, but this, this is a public comment for anybody that's not on the agenda right now. Is there anyone? Any other public comment? Third time, any public comment? Okay, seeing none, we'll move on. First public hearing. Okay, calling a zoning committee meeting and public hearings to be considered today, Tuesday, July 14, 2020, and open to the public. Anyone present may speak, provided they stand up and identify themselves and no uh, <clears throat> notice of public uh, appearance sheet, which is located in the box by the entrance door. Anyone attending via phone or Zoom may, uh, meeting may speak, provided they identify themselves by name and address before doing so. We are recording these proceedings so that it is important that you state your name and address before addressing the committee. We request that you do not interfere with or interject comments while another person has the floor. The chair will permit adequate time for anyone wishing to speak and may compel the attendance of witnesses. Following hearings have been published as class one and class two notices in accordance with chapter 985 of the Wisconsin statutes and will be heard by this committee this morning. Number one will be comprehensive plan amendment, Tom Larrabee. Number two, Gerald K. Jr. and Melinda S. Rowan. Number three, Robert D. and Kimberly A. Nass and John D. and Cindy Lee Harvey. Number four, Eugene W. and Joy A. Griffin, Living Trust. Number five, Richard J. and Gloria Brucella. Number six, the Washroom Family uh, IR Trust. With that, we'll call the first public to uh, hear, public hearing to order. The purpose of this hearing is to take testimony regarding the application for the proposed amendment to the comprehensive plan preferred land use map within the town of Larry. And the map amendment is to ensure that the Wapaka County comprehensive plan remains consistent with the locally adopted comprehensive plan. Will the secretary read the names of the persons notified of this hearing? Lynn Jepson, town chairman. Stacy Jepson, town clerk. Gene Meyer, town supervisor. David Burgett, town supervisor. Wapaka County non-metallic mining operators. Peck County Corporation Council. I hereby direct a copy of this affidavit to be filed as a part of the record of these proceedings. 
The county zoning committee is a delegated unit of the county board by ordinance to consider zoning map amendment, zoning ordinance amendments, and decide conditional uses. The zoning committee is interested in hearing all pertinent evidence. Witnesses in favor of the application will be called first, those opposed second, and then others. After each witness has appeared, he or she may be questioned by the committee. Persons present who are not appearing as witnesses will be allowed to propose relevant questions to be put to the committee. However, the chair re reserves the right to rule on relevancy, and no member of the audience will be allowed to give testimony without being sworn. Because a record of this hearing is being tape recorded, it is important that each witness or speaker identify themselves and their interest in the subject matter of the hearing before speaking. And please speak in the direction of the microphone on the presentation table. The time limit on the presentations may be imposed. I do not, or I do request that you avoid repetition and limit your remarks to the subject matter being considered. Neither the committee nor your neighbors will benefit from hearing statements that repeat opinions that have already been expressed or that relate to matters other than the case before the committee. Personal attacks, abusive testimony, gross hearsay, rumor, gossip will be ruled out of order by the chair subject to the immediate appeal of the majority of the committee. The committee will now hear the proposed comprehensive plan amendment for the town of Larrabee to amend the preferred land use category for a parcel located in part of the northeast quarter of the northeast quarter of section 18 in the township of Larrabee lying along Horn Road, or half a county, Wisconsin, parcel number 10, 18, 11, 3, to remove the parcel from our land, farmland preservation. Planning and zoning uh, uh, office staff, please present. Uh. Yeah, certainly. So this kind of plan amendment is just like uh, uh, Supervisor Cusman had just said that the the intention behind this one is to take the property out of farm preservation. The ultimate goal for these the landowners is to have put in a uh, contractor shop in the HWC zoning district. And in order to be able to do that, they have to first get out of farm preservation. So this would be the, this is really the, the first step. And this is the property here. So looking at the map, they also own the parcel to the east that has the house on it. Um, their intention overall is to combine those two parcels together. So like Ryan said, we have to remove from farm and preservation. And then we'll see the next uh, public hearing is a zone map amendment for that parcel as well. Everybody get a chance to find your way out there. I, I haven't been out there for a long time. I didn't know that little bridge was closed on Buckby Road. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good guess. Not on the agenda. <laughs> how, um, how many feet to drop us off to one side of that driveway? It's, it's, a, it's a nice property. I think the official measurement is a lot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you don't want to slide off on, on that side. And that was part of the reason that they're looking at that structure going on to the, the parcel to the west there is because slope makes it nearly impossible. Yeah. To the other way. Well, it, it, it's not really taking much of anything of farmland out of farmland preservation. It's woods, it's hills, it's already building sites. So. Is there any testimony in favor of this application? We have Gerard Rowan on, on the Zoom. Okay. Mr. Rowan, can you hear you? Would you like to uh, talk about your proposal? Yes. We need to swear. Yes. Um, yeah. Looking at, I'm just a, a contractor here in Clintonville area. Um, I'm living in Marion now. Just bought this property a year ago or so. And uh, yeah, it's just right off the existing. Hello. Oh, I'm okay. sorry. Gerard, is that your name? Or you, you prefer yes. To... Gerard. I'm the committee chair. I need to swear you in before we get too far into this. So. Okay. All right. Can I, can I ask you to stand and raise your right hand? Sure. 
I swear the testimony you're about to give okay. is the truth, the whole, the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. I do. Thank you. So state your name and address and, and tell us what, what, you, what you have done here. Okay. Um, my name is Gerard Rowan Jr. Um, I live on E7696 uh, Horn Road, uh, Marion, Wisconsin. Um, what I'm doing is wanting to build a shop shed attached um, on my property. So it's a contractor shop. What what kind of uh, building contractor? Can, uh, heavy equipment? Uh, can you? Can you um, no, just yep. I'm just a, a small contractor. I do new homes, uh, additions, remodeling. Um, just I'm just self-employed, um, basically myself. So it's not a huge, huge shop. It's just a, uh, a, 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 um, a decent sized shop, I guess. But it's um, sufficient for what I need. But I don't have any large machinery or anything like that. I'm just a, a you know, I build homes and and. Uh, remodeling and stuff like that. Okay. Yes. We're really acting on Larabee's resolution first, right? Right. That's, that's right. That's yep. Right. We'll, yep. we'll circle back to this with the next book. Okay. Yep. Okay. So this is this is the first step of the process for, for them there. Yeah. So the town is all good with it. They aren't expecting any unusual truck traffic or no, we, we do have a town recommendation from, from the township along with their supporting resolution and ordinance adoption that they amended their comprehensive plan for this. So we're looking for the county plan to be consistent with what the township has already done there. So we do have the, the township is definitely in favor of it. Okay. Well, uh, is there any other questions from the committee at this point? So I'm gonna make a motion strictly on this uh, Resolution, I guess it's called number 10, to adopt the comprehensive plan amendment to the town of Lair. Is that correct? I'll second that motion. Moved by Supervisor Federal, seconded by Supervisor Kussman to approve this resolution 10 comprehensive land use amendment for town of Larrabee. Uh, we'll do roll call roll for Kussman? Yes. Lock? Yes. Metterwitz? Yes. Murphy? Yes. Nygaard? Yes. Motion carries. Motion for the hearing. I'll second it. Moved by Supervisor Kussman, seconded by Supervisor Muck to close this hearing. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Motion carries. Okay, continuing with that, we'll call a second public hearing to order the purpose of this hearing is to take testimony regarding the applications for. Gerald K. Jr. and Melinda S. Brown, located in part of the northeast quarter of the northeast <coughs> quarter of section 18, Township of Larrabee, lying along Farm Road, Wapaka County, Wisconsin, parcel number 10, 18, 3 for a petition for a zone map amendment from agricultural retention AR district to an agricultural woodland transition AWT district and a conditional use permit for a contractor shop, building contractor in an agricultural woodland transition, AWT district on approximately 21.5 acres. Will the secretary read the names of the persons notified of this hearing? Lynn Jepson, town chair, Stacy Jepson, town clerk, David Burgett, town supervisor, Gene Meyer, town supervisor, Daryl Hendrick, district supervisor, Gerard Rowan, Pecka County Corporation Council, Peter Borcher, Dunlavey Family Farms, LLC, Ralph Faldley, Robert and Darlene Cole, Joint Revocable Trust, Verna Cushel Revocable Trust, Gerard and Melinda Rowan, Donald Tennyson Trust et al. I hereby direct a copy of this affidavit to be filed as part of the record of these proceedings. The committee is conducting an on site inspection of this property and will now hear the application. On Gerald K. Jr. and Melinda S. Rowan. Will the regent please come forward and be sworn in to testify? If they are present via phone or Zoom, please uh, identify yourself to be sworn in. 
So is Jerry Gerard, Gerard have to be sworn in again? He's already been sworn in. He's sworn in. Okay. So he's still on the phone? He's still present on the phone. Up there. Okay, good. Okay, Mr. Rowan, step two. So I, I know it seems a little redundant, but uh, this is the way it works here. So so uh, tell us again what you'd like to do for, for the record. Okay. Um, my name is Gerard Rowan Jr. Um, just on young state address as well. Yes, thank you. For the, just for the record, please. Yeah. Okay. At, at E7696 Horn Road, Marion, Wisconsin, 54950. Um, would like to build a shop on my property. Uh, just a contractor shop. I'm a subcontractor. Um, I don't do, I, I do 75%. I was going to tell you this before 75% of my work outside of the shop. This is just a, my shop where I build a few cabinets and stuff like that, but it's just, uh, a small shop for for my own uh, personal um, business, I guess. Okay, thank you. So we we kind of heard the preliminary in the, the previous hearing. So uh, is there any more questions? That, yes, sir. Is there going to be water run from your existing well to this place? Yes. Yeah, I got all in-floor heat I'm going to put in it. So I, I, I wanted water into it. Sure. Mm -hmm. Is there going to be a bathroom or anything like that? Or? Good question. Are you, are you planning on having restroom facilities in there, Mr. Rowe? Yes, I am. You want? Okay. okay. We, can, we can definitely work with them on, on sure. getting the sanitary permit taken care of for that. Yep. Okay. Well, I guess if there's no further questions at this point, we'll call for additional testimony. Is there any further testimony in favor of this application? Any further testimony in favor of this application? Third time, any further testimony in favor of this application? Seeing none, is there any testimony in opposition to this application? Any testimony in opposition to this application? Third time, any testimony in opposition? Seeing none, are there, are there any letters? Uh, there are, Mr. Chairman. We have the town recommendation forms from the township for both the zone map amendment and conditional use permit. Uh, petitioner information in regard to the Gerard Rowan property, parcel number 10, 18, 11, 3. Size of parcel is 21.5 acres. Uh, current zoning district is Ag Retention. Proposed zoning district is Ag and Woodland Transition. Town Planning Commission recommend approval. David Gurgitz, Planning Commission Chair, dated May 14, 2020. Town Board recommend approval. Town Chairman Lynn Jepson, Town Clerk Stacy Jepson, dated May 14, 2020. In regards to the conditional use permit recommendation for the same parcel, current zoning district is Ag Retention. Proposes Ag and Woodland Transition. What are the existing uses of adjacent lands to this parcel and are they compatible? Ag and residential, and yes. Is the proposal consistent with the town vision statement as found in the town comprehensive plan? Yes. Is the proposal consistent with the town goals, objectives, and development strategies as found in the town comprehensive plan? Yes. Town Planning Commission recommend approval of Lynn Jepson, uh, dated May 11th, 2020. Town Board recommend approval of Lynn Jepson, Town Chairman, Stacy Jepson, Town Clerk, dated May 11th. Thank you. Are there, does the planning and zoning office have a recommendation? Thank you, Mr. Chairman. We do. Given the township's position on this being in favor of it, we would also be in favor of this, um, provided that they obtain the, the land use permit, building permit, and sanitary permit required. Uh, Mr. Rowan has already submitted a land use permit application for this, so we are uh, working towards that end already. Very good. Is there any other questions from the committee? Based on the testimony we heard this morning, I will make a motion to approve this application. Moved by Supervisor Cusman to approve this application. Is there a second? I'll second it. Moved by Supervisor Muck. Roll call. Cusman. Yes. Muck. Yes. Otherwise. Yes. Murphy. Yes. Nygaard. Yes. Motion carries. 
the motion to close the hearing. Motion to close the hearing. I'll second. Moved and seconded by Supervisor Cusman, second by Supervisor Muck. To close the hearing, all in favor, say, well, roll call again or? Yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Cusman. Yes. Muck. Yes. Senators. Yes. Yes. Murphy. Yes. Nygaard. Yes. Thank you. Okay, continuing. We'll continue with the third public hearing. The purpose of this hearing is to take testimony regarding the application for Robert B. and Kimberly A. Nass with John B. and Cindy E. Hart. He's located in part of the southeast quarter of the southeast quarter section 12 in the township of Lebanon. Can we just do a clarifying? Yeah, real we, quick? yeah Sorry. okay, there we go. Yeah, I think we missed the conditional use in the last one. We close the hearing for the rezone, but we we still have a we still have to take an action on. We the got three steps on this this first one. Yep. So let's let's. Yep. Sorry. Let's <laughs> <stage here. clears throat> Hi, Anne. And I just saw that Mr. Rowan um took um, took off of the. He's not on the Zoom anymore. If you can see that, Jason. Oh. And the we I mean the the hearing is for both of them. The zone there. So it's just the motion that we. Right, we've seen the motion to the okay. okay, I'll make that motion. I'll second it. Moved and seconded. Cusman. Yes. Mark. Yes. Federowitz. Yes. Murphy. Yes. yes. Nygaard. Yes. Thank you. Okay, so now, now we're going to go to the NAS. Okay, continue. Now we're good. Yep. With the third public hearing. Yes. The purpose of this hearing is to take testimony regarding the application for Robert B. and Kimberly. A. Nash and John B. and Cindy B. Harvey, located in part of the southeast border of the southeast border of Section 12, Township of Lebanon, lying along State Highway 45, fire number N6546, Wapaka County, Wisconsin, parcel 1112-4415, and part of parcel 1112-4416, for a conditional use permit for outdoor recreation, active barrel racing competitions in the Agricultural Woodland Transition in WP District on approximately 11.66 acres and 7.83 acres. Will the Secretary read the names of the persons notified of this hearing? Alan Tank, Town Chairman, Mary Seamrock, Town Clerk, Jeff Hansky, Town Supervisor, Don Laughlin, Town Supervisor, Robert Nass, Packer County Highway Department, Herman Creek State Park, Department of Natural Resources, attention to Dale Rezebeck, U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, attention to Kyle Zabung, Wisconsin DOT North Central Region, attention to Kelly Nicholas, Packer County Corporation Council, Boardwalk MHC LLC, Dennis Eberson, Kevin Jenke, John and Cindy Lee Harvey, Kimberly and Robert Nass, Thomas and Deborah Pagel, Henry and Barbara Saul, Carl and Phyllis Shucknick, Timothy and Pamela Smith, Sarah and David Tate, and John Heideman, Sugarbush Drifters Incorporated, Dana Carpenter, Bernard Schneider, Ryan Griffin, Tyler Natsky. I hereby direct a copy of this affidavit to be filed as part of the record of these proceedings. The committee conducted an on site inspection of this property. Well, we'll now hear the application from Robert B. and Kimberly A. Nash and Robert and John B. and Cindy Lee Harvey will be applicant or their agent. Please come forward and be sworn to testify. You can just come up here. Well, please raise your right hand. You swear testimony you're about to give us the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. I do. Thank you. Please state your name and your address and uh, uh, Where's the microphone here today? Right there. Okay. Picking up pretty good. Uh, Kimberly A. Nass. I live at N6546 U.S. Highway 45, New London. Um, we're getting our conditional use or applying for the conditional use um, to finalize the steps to have barrel racing competitions on our property. Um, we've been working toward that for quite a while. Um, our understanding was that AWT permitted an outdoor activity. So not entirely sure what this step is for, if it was for the parking that was listed in there, um, but just trying to clarify and figure out what exactly we need to do to confirm that for having barrel races at our facility. And this application is for both the barrel racing competitions and the parking area. Okay. okay. And that did not fall within the outdoor activity that's permitted. Yeah, that would be an active use as opposed to a passive. Okay. Right. 
Okay. Yeah. That's, we're trying to trying to understand the difference there that we were trying to do. So yeah. um, all we're looking to do is parking the horse trailers out in the larger fields you see um, east of the arena there. Um, and then how John and Cindy are involved in that is that we're renting that the, the 7.38 acres that it showed um, is in pasture for us at our land as well. And we'd be potentially parking trailers in there if we ran out of room in, in the two fields that we were initially using for parking at that point, depending on what kind of terminal we got. So that, that's the extent of their involvement in the, in the conditional use. I don't mean to drop it. I think there's another picture that shows the parking area as well that you can see. Yeah. Sorry for dropping. So, how many times a year do you think you might be doing this? Um, this this year we had tentatively scheduled one weekend. Usually it's done by weekend, as you know, each day is a show. Um, I could see us doing no more than five weekends in a year it's a lot of work <laughs> um i mean right now we're starting at one a year i could sure. see maybe two next year if it goes well right now i'm a little overwhelmed with it so we'll see how many we do yes sir were we out of this prop a few years ago yes there was a different a, reason yeah different reason because yep. i remember the acreage that they were renting yeah, the electrical shop. contractor shop. We did a land use. We did a conditional use for one horse per acre instead of one horse per two acres. So we've been in here a few times. For right. conditional commercial, uses. commercial animal facility. <laughs> yes. Too, right? Yes. There's also not a stable there. Yes. The picture is pretty old. Yeah, it this, it's a pretty outdated satellite image. 2015. Right? Yeah. Yep. 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 How many <clears throat> contestants do you have per weekend? Uh, so based on other races that are in the area this year, um, they're averaging about 100 horses in the first class. Um, somewhere between 70 and 120 is a good turnout for a local show like this. Um, if it was the right weekend and the right weather, you could see upwards of 150, but we don't anticipate it being any bigger than that for this, the types of sanctions that we put on this show for the organizations that we're working with. Um, we have poor weather, we might see 30. <laughs> so. It's very conditional based on the weather and what other shows are happening in the area. Is this going to be daytime or any at night? Or? Um, as of right now, the start times are practice runs starting at 8 a.m. or 9 a.m., excuse me, and then um, actual competition starting at noon. Um, for the number of contestants we have, we'd be done well before dark in August. However, um, we're looking at allowing early arrivals Friday evening, so we may have arena lights on till 10 p.m., but no later than that. Um, future races in, in Future years, we are planning on lighting the arena. Um, we may have some evening races, but um, most of the time it'll be a daytime activity. Yes? Have you figured out how many cars you need for the car thing? Um, trailers or cars? I'm sorry? Trailers or cars? Cars. Okay, um, cars that really don't get a lot of them. We would maybe see 15 or less cars. Most of the people that come, we don't really draw spectators. Generally, the spectators that you have are those that are accompanying those who are riding and they come in the same vehicle, they come in the same rig with them. So you really get very little car traffic. Um, and we, I actually designated, I don't know if it shows on that, there's a really small pasture right across from the arena on the other side of that angled driveway. That's where we'd be parking cars. It almost looks kind of like a triangle on this map. How many trailers do you anticipate? Um, usually people are pretty good about carpooling. So when we say that there's 100 horses there, usually you see two or three horses come out of each trailer. So if you do a little bit of math on that, you usually are only seeing 50 trailers or less with a turnout like that. Do you have enough room for parking? Yes. Um, we were just at um, Manawa for a show that had the same sanctions, sanctioned by the same organizations. Um, and we were at the rodeo grounds for that. We, they were not utilizing any of the car parking that you would see in, right next to the, the factory there. They were only utilizing the contestant parking um, and they had 120 entries on Saturday and they fit in there. And I would say that they have similar acreage to what we have for parking. Any other questions from the committee at this point? Just the only other comment is, is that obviously turning off a of 45 on a busy, if it's on a weekend, is always a concern for traffic. Mm -hmm. Do you have some kind of signage you can put out? 
um, on both the north and south end during that period of time, just to make people aware? Um, what we had in place so far um, was we have a large banner that can be seen from each direction that we'd like to put on, on our mailbox side of the road, so the west side, to make the driveway more visible. But if slowing traffic down, like event traffic sort of thing is necessary, we'd be willing to put out a sign on the shoulder, you know, if it needed to be a quarter mile north and south, we could do something like that if that's a concern. Um, for now, we were just trying to mark the driveway really well so that everybody was slowing down early for their turns. Um, but marking the driveway or putting out a warning that there is an event coming up was something that we could do. Well, thank you. Uh, just stick around in case we come up with a few more questions or, or uh, something here. So uh, is there any further testimony in favor of this application? Any more testimony in favor of this application? Third time, any more testimony in favor of this application? Yes. I just have one question yet for the marking of things. Since it's State Highway 45. I need to swear you. <laughs> so this is the way it works. Did you take your cap off, please, too? You swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. I do. Thank you. State your name and address and go Robert forward. Robert Noss, N6546, Highway 45, in London, Wisconsin. I just wanted to talk about the highway concerns a little bit yet was since it's highway 45 that state what are we allowed to do for markers if we choose to is that something we got to go through state or is it something that you guys can approve for us that we can and we put signage on the shoulders or what are we allowed to do as a chairman can i call on somebody in the crowd that may be able to clarify casey do you yes so you I'm Casey Byerstorff, Highway Commissioner for Pack County. In the event that you have your event coming up and you have concerns on a state highway, um, you would call the highway department. We have a guy that represents the state of Wisconsin roads that comes to our county once a week. We make him aware of your event. And then he would go ahead and say that driveway access point for 50 or 60 cars, whatever might be entering, needs to have uh, warning signs. And then he would tell us as the county highway department to work with you on a one-on-one -on -one basis and he would be out of the whole picture. So the guy's name is Todd Neiman. He works for Wisconsin BOT. Um, I'll make him aware of this location. Um, as long as you make me, the highway commissioner, aware of when the event's coming. Um, so we're, and then my sign crew could come out and put up event ahead signs for you just to make it safe for that day or give them to you and you put up the roll-up signs in the morning. We do that for probably 15 different organizations within the county that have similar situations just to try to protect uh, um, it, an accident from occurring. If one does occur, then it's 911 emergency, all mm -hmm. that avenue. And they're going to look and say, well, what preventative measures did you take? And you can say, well, I contacted the state. The state said get a hold of the county to help put it prevent uh, flyers or event signs. It's pretty simple. So we work through the county. That's that was my <laughs> real question. Do Call we work the through the state department. or through the county? Call the county highway department. We have the liaisons to get a hold of the state. Perfect. When, when's your event potentially this year? End of August. August 29th. Okay. It kind of gives me an idea. I'll let a guy know, and maybe I'll see you outside of this meeting. You can kind of show me what you're doing. Sounds good. That That's all I had. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Casey. Cool. Yes. Is there any other testimony in favor of this application? Third call. Seeing none, is there any testimony in opposition to this application? Any testimony in opposition to this application? Third time, is there any testimony in opposition? Seeing none, are there any letters? Uh, we do have the town recommendation form from the township in regard to the commission use permit application. Uh, for the Robert Nass property, identified by parcel number 11, 12, 44, 15. Current zoning district is agriculture and woodland transition. Is the proposal consistent with the town vision statement as following the town comprehensive plan? Yes. Is the proposal consistent with the town goals, objectives, and development strategies as found in the town comprehensive plan? Yes. Town plan commission recommend approval. Donald Laughlin dated June 15, 2020. Town board recommend approval. 
signed by Alan Kane and Mary Shane Rock, dated June 15, 2012. Thank you. Does the Planning and Zoning Office have a recommendation? We do, and thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, in light of the township's position for this and the fact that it seemed to meet all ordinance criteria, we'd recommend approval um, with the condition that they obtain the necessary licenses from Department of Health and Human Services if they're planning on servicing food out there at all. And also, of course, now that we hear this, contact the highway department to make sure that they're going to be uh, right with what they're doing for, for notifications of highway. Yes. That we, I guess that's a good question. Are you guys planning on any sanitary facilities out there? We actually have one that we own that is serviced by Rachel um, okay. already on the property. <clears throat> oh, right there? Is that what you're? Oh, outhouse? Yeah. Yep. Would, <clears throat> would one be enough? I guess time will tell. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. I guess at this point we're we're opening up for testimony. <laughs> Raise your right hand. Do you swear the testimony you're about to give is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? I do. Thank you. Please state your name. I am John Harvey, M6642, Highway 45, Wisconsin. Um, we do have a second porta potty. It's on my facility up near my barn. We can transport that down easily and have two of them for the event. And I'm also going to be <coughs> installing some gates where the fences are for the pastures onto my property so that the trailers can access the parking areas. So that's the extent of my involvement with this. It seems like all the bases are covered here. So, is there any other questions from the committee? Good questions. Not we'd be in order for a motion to approve. That's so moved by based Super on the condition. Yeah. I'll second, second that. I'll second that. Moved by Supervisor Federwitz, seconded by Supervisor Mark to approve with the uh, uh, conditions listed. Roll call vote. Pussman. Yes. Mark. Yes. Federwitz. Yes. Murphy. Yes. Nygaard. Yes. Motion carries. Thank motion you. Motion to close the hearing. A second. I'll second. Moved by Supervisor Cusman, seconded by Supervisor Mark. The closest hearing all in favor. Cusman. Yes. Mark. Yes. Fairwitz. Yes. Murphy. Yes. yes. Nygaard. Yes. Thank you. Okay, continuing. With that, we'll call the fourth public hearing to order. That's the Griffin one. Yeah. Okay. The purpose of this hearing is to take testimony regarding the application for EJW and Joy A. Griffin Living Trust, located in part of the southwest quarter of the southwest quarter section 12, Township of Little Wolf, lying along County Highway M. Opaca County, Wisconsin, parcels 13, 12, 33, 2, and 13, 12, 34, 2, for a conditional use a permit for a non metallic mine in an agricultural enterprise, AE district, on approximately 47 acres. Will the secretary read the name for the not persons notified of this hearing? Alan Maney, town chairman, Jackie Byer, town clerk, Sharon Olson, town clerk of the town of Union. Mary Shane Rock, Town Clerk of Town of Lebanon, Gloria Rosine, Town Clerk of the Town of St. Lawrence, Lori Redenzo, Town Clerk of the Town of Loyalton, Rod Byer, Town Supervisor, Joel Bonikowski, Town Supervisor, Department of Creek State Park, Department of Natural Resources, Attention to Neil Rosebeck, Beck County Highway Department, East Central Wisconsin Planning, Attention to Scott Conkle, Beck County Nomadog Mining Operators, Beck County Corporation Council, Timothy and Renee Bristol, Dwayne Drager, Eugene and Joy Griffin, Living Trust, Thomas Griffin, Travis and Julie Griffin, R.L. Steingraber Trust, Griffin and Farms, OLP, and Ralph Zemple. Are you ready to collect a copy of this affidavit be filed as part of the recommended proceeding? The committee has left with an on-site inspection of the property. We'll now hear the application of UGW and Joy A. Griffin, Living Trust. 
the applicant or their agent please go forward and be sworn to testify. If they are present via phone or Zoom, please uh, identify yourself and be sworn in. Casey, I swear a testimony about to give us the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. I do. Thank you. State your name and you know, his address or his position or his, who's speaking for you. You're acting on behalf of the Griffin Village right? Yes. So, okay. Yeah. My name is Casey H. Byerstorf. My work address is 2670 County Highway A, Wapak, Wisconsin. That's the location of our highway facility. And I'm acting as the speaking agent as, as uh, for Mr. Eugene Griffin. Thank you. So, uh, it's, a, it's road access off of Highway N, which is a county road, which is- Correct, County Highway N is going to be under construction for the next several years to include a section of County Highway O that goes to the north off N and a section of Highway O that goes to the south off of County Highway N. And so brainstorming and looking into the future, I thought it would be a good idea to have a borrow pit location to extract sand from um, to support these upcoming Wapaka County construction projects. And so we started talking to some of my supervisors at the highway department, who then got me in contact with Mr. Griffin. Make a long story short, I stopped at his house. We had some conversations and we identified uh, four, I think it's exactly 4.39 acres of which includes the haul road to get in and out to this uh, sand area. It once was a, a pine plantation. Now it's recently been logged and grubbed and cleared. And it, it's ready for the county highway department to extract sand to support the four or five upcoming road projects in the next several years. Um, so it's Highway N going east. That summer is on the, your capital improvement list too, I suppose, too. County so Working on parts of it, then so you got a whole bunch of work in that radius of an area. A lot of work on yeah. the O's, double O's, and, and so having a borrow pit located right on site was advantageous. Um, we did some studying on uh, what are the soils like. We went out there with the excavator. We dug 14 feet in the ground in one spot, found where there's good sand, started finding our boundaries on where we ran out of sand. Um, Every one of our construction projects always has excess um, ditch, rocks, um, topsoil. And so I'm going to restore this four acre site using topsoil and it will then become a farm field when we're done with it. Yes, does, does Scott need to get involved for me Central on this one? Scott would be involved as part of the reclamation. Uh, one of the boilerplate conditions that we put on this would be to get a reclamation per reclamation plan. Yeah. Casey, you said four acres or 47 acres? We did a plan of survey within 4.39 acres of his big 47 okay. acre partial land. We're only going to disturb up to 4.39 acres at, at this time. That's the plan. Okay. Like that. So the whole parcel size is 47 acres for the notification to come. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Okay. Yeah, that kind of gives a feel for the way it looks yeah. when it comes off the road. So the, the difference with this one, uh, and the reason why it has it listed on the agenda is being that at 47 acres is because they didn't create any a new parcel with this. You know, oh. typically what we have with uh, non-metallic mines is that they become forward with a certified survey map where they create a new parcel for it. So it'd be entirely distinct and separate. This wasn't set up that way. So this was just a flat of survey showing the actual area of disturbance that's gonna be within that field. There's field all around there. And the intention behind that is the reason why they didn't do the CSM was because in the end, this is going to go, once all these construction projects are over with, it's been reclaimed, it goes back to farm fields. So it all just goes into, you won't even really know much of difference. Right. It, you know, it should all be at the same grade, all of this farm field. Okay. Make sure the rocks are very deep enough. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and typically, we do this on every construction project, but because this is going to be multiple years, we're going through a more in depth process. Okay. Let me just get just a little clarification. When it's all over with, 
let's just say five years now. Does it go back to the original owner or does the county keep it? He owns it right now, it, it will not you're be just, my property. You're just buying the sand. I just have access to okay. his sand. That, that answers my question. They'll still be a nice people. Are you buying the sand? Are we buying, buying the sand from the property owner. Okay, that's, that's good. But what the, the, the good part for the everybody involved is the cost of trucking will we'll save the county and it'll save the taxpayers. Won't have to pay for hauling this stuff 15 miles down the road from somewhere else. It's just a couple miles, maybe five on some of the farther parts of the projects. So, time and money. Any further questions from the committee? Thank you, Casey. Stick around in case we get some other questions. Is there any further testimony in favor of this application? Second time, any further testimony in favor of this application? Third call, any testimony in favor of this application? <clears throat> Seeing none, is there any testimony in opposition to this application? Second call, any testimony in opposition to this application? Third, final time, any testimony in opposition to this application? Seeing and hearing none, are there any letters? We do have the town recommendation form in regard to parcels 13, 12, 33, 2, and 13, 12, 34. 34, 2. Um, surface landowner is Griffin Living Trust, Eugene Joy A. Griffin. Mineral rights owner is Rebecca County Highway Department, Casey Byersberg, Highway Commissioner. Current zoning district is Agriculture Enterprise. Is the proposal consistent with the town comprehensive plan? Yes. Will be used for road construction and reclaimed to use for farming. Is the proposal consistent with the town goals, objectives, and development strategies as found in the town comprehensive plan? Yes. It promotes business and infrastructure improvement and preserves the ag use in the future. Town Plan Commission recommended approval. Jackie Byer dated June 29, 2020. Town Board recommended approval. Town Chairman Alan Mady. And clerk Jackie Bayer also dated June 29, 2012. There was the supporting minutes also submitted. From the okay, thank you. Does the Planning and Zoning Office have a recommendation? Uh, we do, Mr. Chairman, and thank you. Um, given the township's uh, agreement with, with this and it seeming to make a whole lot of sense, we would also recommend that this application be approved, provided that they follow the operation plan and have a reclamation plan approved by consent. Any more questions from the committee? That would be in order to have a motion to approve as presented with conditions stated. Also moved. Moved by Supervisor Muck. Second. 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 Second by Supervisor Murphy. Roll call vote. Cushman. Yes. Muck. Yes. Everyone. Yes. Murphy. Yes. Nygaard. Yes. Motion carries. Motion to close the hearing. And a second. I'll second it. Moved by Supervisor Kussman, seconded by Supervisor Muck to close this hearing. All in favor? Kussman. Yes. Muck. Yes. Federowitz. Yes. yes. Murphy. Yes. Aye. J Nygaard. Aye. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, okay, continuing. With that, we'll call the fifth public hearing to order. The purpose of this hearing is to take testimony regarding the application for Richard J. and Gloria. Ripollet, located in part of the northeast quarter, the southeast quarter of section 18, Township of Alvisha, lying along Lutz Road, Wapaka County, Wisconsin, parcel 8081814412, for a conditional use permit for temporary occupancy of a recreational vehicle in excess of 30 days in an agricultural AR district, uh, approximately 19 acres. Will the secretary read the names of the persons notified of this hearing? Kelvin Price, town chairman. Douglas Hines, town clerk. Gary Chick, town supervisor. Jeffrey Hopper, town supervisor. Richard and Gloria Brickley. Matt Paczynski, agent. The Assembly Corps of Engineers, attention to Kyle Zabung. Department of Natural Resources, attention to Dale Resebeck. Hartman Creek State Park. Beck County Corporation Council. Gerald Galovic. William Gallubeth. William and Jean Galuda, Alicia Hideaway, LLC, Thomas and Patty Henschel, 
David Judes, Jessica Hitchcock, Jason J. Jacob, David Logan, and Dwayne Long. Anybody direct a copy of this and we will be filed as part of the referee's proceedings. The committee uh, conducted an on-site inspection of the property and we now hear the conditional use permit for Richard J. and Gloria Lacorlet. Will the applicant or their agent please come forward and be sworn to testify? Good morning. Okay, yeah. Hello, my name, my name is Jim Nygaard. Could you please state Stand, raise your right hand. Yep. Do you swear the testimony you're about to give us the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? I do. Thank you. Uh, state your name and address for the record, and, and tell us what you want done here. Yep. Uh, my name is Matt Rosinski. I'm speaking as an agent for Richard and Gloria Bricolet. Uh, basically, what we're doing here, um, they have the the small section that's mentioned um we've been tenting it for the last couple of years and we're just simply looking to put a, a camper there instead of having to tent it every every time we go up hunting okay. the camper's going to be there year round or, or yes we, yep we would we would start there year round um leave it on the wheels um and that's kind of the reason that we are getting the permit is so that we don't have to haul it out of there because we travel about an hour and a half to get there um, we'd like to be able to kind of make it not per se a, a more permanent solution, but just so that we don't have to set up shop every time we go there. So uh, is there any hookups of any kind? Nope. We just use a generator and we um, we plan on having a porter potty out there. We've already been in talks. I got a list of, of pumpers from Jason and we found somebody that we're going to, once we have a porter potty out there, sign a contract that he's going to pump it uh, as on an on, as need basis. So, not that it matters, but our, our little map just shows your, your dot right by the road. And actually, we, we have a different uh, have a better map to go down that has an, an arrow. Okay. Um, yep, so I sent one in. I think it's it's about um, 200 feet from the road. Okay, so if you keep going, Ryan, there's, there's a, a better one. I don't know that it's better, but there's another one. They didn't scan in very well. On this. So this one, you can kind of see where that arrow is. Yep, that's the... Oh, and man, yes. you can correct me if I'm wrong, but the... It looks like that uh, wing of the arrow just going in kind of in the middle of the trees there, right? Yep, so we, we kind of figured we'd tuck it in the trees a little bit, a little bit uh, kind of not out in the open in the field or anything, just kind of keep it hidden and a little bit more secluded and kind of keep the, the property looking nice. Okay, bring your mosquito spray. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Sure, just a comment that kind of helps me a little bit because when I go by it, I'm trying to picture it right out of the open field. Yeah, me too. Yeah. I, I used to know the old couple that farmed there, uh, Ernie and Esther Lutz. Oh, okay. They, they've been going a long time now. Yeah. Is there any other questions from the committee at this point? Okay. Did, did you understand you needed a permit through your town chairman or how did you come to that conclusion? Because some people don't always know. Yep, so um, my girlfriend's grandparents are uh, Richard and Gloria and they used to be, they used to be on the board in Helvetia and they, they said that if we wanted to upgrade to a camper, we'd have to go through the process. So I started looking into it. I think I originally contacted Jason, and that's where we are. Excellent, excellent. Good for her. Good for her. None of this after the fact stuff. That's what we like to hear. Okay. Is there any other questions from the committee? Thank you. Uh, just hang on for a little bit in case we uh, have some other questions. I'm going to call for more testimony. Is there any further testimony in favor of this application? Any further testimony in favor of this application? Third time, any testimony in favor of this application? Seeing none, is there any testimony in opposition to this application? Any testimony in opposition to this application? 
Third time, any testimony in opposition to this application? Are there any letters? We do have the town recommendation form in regard to the Bricolet property. Parcel number 0818412. Size of parcels 19 acres. Current zoning district is agriculture retention. Town Planning Commission recommend approval. Gary Prill, Planning Commission Chairperson, dated June 1st, 2020. Town Board recommends approval. Town Chairman Kelvin Price. Town Clerk Douglas Hines, also dated June 1st, 2020. Thank you. Does the Planning and Zoning Office have a recommendation? Thank you, Mr. Chairman. We do. Um, given the Township's position on this, uh, we would recommend approval on this as well, provided that they obtain the appropriate uh, county approved sanitary system. Um, and that if they build any structures, they'd have to obtain a land use permit for the structures as well. I don't believe that's part of the plan right now, but if they were. Okay, so uh, if there's no further questions, we'd be in order to have a motion to approve with the condition stated. I'll so move. Moved by Supervisor Mux, is there a second? Moved by Supervisor Federowitz, thank you. Roll call vote. Cussman? Yes. Mock? Yes. Federowitz? Yes. Murphy? Yes. Nygaard? Yes. Motion carries. Motion to close the hearing. Second. Moved and seconded by Supervisor Cussman, seconded by Supervisor Mock. All in favor? Uh, roll call. Cussman? Yes. Mock? Yes. Federowitz? Murphy? Yes. Nygaard? Yes. Motion carries. Thank Continue. you. Continue. With that, we'll call the public land board. Focus for this hearing is to take testimony regarding the application for Washroom Family IR Trust. Located in part of the southwest corner, the southeast corner, section three, Township of Scandinavia, lying along County Road G, fire number 10, 6918, Pack of County, Wisconsin, part of parcel 170343. For a petition for a zone map amendment from an agricultural enterprise AE district to a residential rural residential overlay RRO district to create a six acre parcel. This parcel is in farmland preservation and will utilize three development rights to create the six acre parcel. Will the secretary uh, read the names of the persons notified in this area? Gary Marks, Town Chair, Brendan Mazemke, Town Clerk, Frank Bauer Jr., Town Supervisor, Brian Poos, Town Supervisor, Department of Natural Resources, attention to Dale Rezebeck, U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, attention to Kyle Zabon, Hartman Creek State Park, Hackett County Highway Department, Deborah Fletcher, Agent, Hackett County Corporation Council, Timothy Hoyard, Earl and Yvonne Lukaszewski. Lukaszewski. Thank you. <laughs> Explain of it. James, James Nygaard at all, Sandy Valley Farms, Wazrud Family Irrevocable Trust, Wazrud Joint Irrevocable Trust. I hereby direct a copy of this affidavit to be filed as a part of the record of these proceedings. The committee has conducted an on site inspection of this property and will now hear the conditional use permit of. We got the last people's names on there, is that correct? Uh, it should be the Wazrud property. For them. Yeah, it's, right. so it's, Deborah Fletcher is the agent. If we have it on there incorrectly, then it is incorrect. So, yes. Yeah, the the right here. So, we'll, we'll hear the uh, conditional use permit of the Wazrud family IR trust. Uh, we'll uh, ask the other agent, please, come to the morning this morning. Debbie, raise your right hand. You swear the testimony you're about to give is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Thank you. Thank you. State your name and your address and and uh, tell us what you want done here. Um, Deborah Fletcher and 4253 East Ware Road, the back of Wisconsin. Um, we were um, selling parts of my father's farm, and um, in order to sell off the buildings, we had to make a parcel and to get all the buildings incorporated into it. With a buffer in the fields, we built a six acre parcel. Thank you. So, this is a house, and the building is already on that parcel. Yes, there's a, there's, a, there's a house, there's two the sheds, and then on the, in the barns, a ways away from it. That's why it had to be such a big parcel. Are those your silos over there? Yeah, there's silos behind the barn. Yeah. Yeah. I 
I just have a question for the office staff here. And I know we're coming up with this periodically. Uh, and, I, and I don't know the answer, but maybe I'll get the answer. No. <laughs> <laughs> we have farmsteads that are spread out a little bit. And if somebody wants to buy old buildings, then that forces them to give up building sites. And I'm trying to understand if we can come up with another way of doing this in the future. That wouldn't use up so many development rights. Right. I mean, it, I, the one way it's not right, and the other way I understand the reason. I mean, I don't, you know, I can come in there and bulldoze the barn and the silos all down and come down to two acres or three. You know, I'm trying to figure out a way to make it a, a little more appreciative for the person who owns the land. So, Supervisor Federowitz, we, we do have a provision for consolidation of structures and then they would only utilize one, one development right for that. It's hard when you get situations like this and they are so spread out that if you look at this particular parcel, I mean, that could can easily be split in half. They have two separate structures given that there is such a space between there. And when you start looking at the amount of space that's between the southern structures and the southern lot line there too, it's hard to it's hard to be giving the minimum while while still still consolidating. Um, people tend to take liberties when it comes to how far you can you can kind of stretch it off different uh, structures when we're still consolidating things for. Um, in this case, I think we probably could have got by with, with four four acres potentially with consolidating them. Um, but the discussion, and there was more than one proposal that was discussed with this particular issue. In fact, probably a dozen or so yeah. more that we, we had talked about over time to try to get this to work. But this seemed to be the, the, the correct way to do that in this, this particular case. So they can they can still divide that property and realize those, those right. Okay. So someday somebody could bury the barn and everything and put another lot there. Correct. Right. The only regulation that we have in our, our old road residential overlay is minimal lot size of two acres. So that means is that they do have the ability to- But all farmsteads usually have more than two acres. Sure, sure. So one thing that's a little different condition on this particular road is it has CDS and it has TDS and Amherst Telephone Company both. So as far as the rural development area, all the infrastructure is there almost like in town. You don't have sewer and water, but you've got natural gas, which is not common out in the country, but right, it is served by natural gas on the east side of Highway T. So I don't know if there's some way to ever take into consideration in the future about ex using existing infrastructure to, to encourage development in those areas where it's, it's already there. Sure. Usually, so the way we handle these is usually we take a direction from the people, the applicants, the people who are looking to do this. And like Jason was saying, that's what made the most sense for the sure. applicants was the goal with six and use the development. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Is there any other questions for, uh, for Mrs. Fletcher at this moment? Well, thank you, Debbie. If you want to just stick around in case some more comes up. Uh, is there any further testimony in favor of this application? Any further testimony in favor of this application? Third time, is there any testimony in favor of this application? Seeing and hearing none, is there any testimony in opposition to this application? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's going to be in the doghouse. <laughs> <laughs> any second time, any testimony in opposition to this application? <laughs> Third time, any testimony in opposition to this application? <laughs> Seeing none, are there any letters? Uh, we do We do have the town recommendation form regarding the Lazarus Family Revocable Trust, part of parcel 170343, current zoning district and agriculture enterprise. What will, what will be the proposed use of the parcel if rezoning is approved? Residential use in accordance with Wisconsin State Statutes 91.48, parent A, the land is better suited for use not allowed in the Farm and Preservation Zoning District, yes. The rezoning is consistent with any applicable comprehensive plan, yes. The rezoning is substantially consistent with the Farm and Preservation Plan, 
Yes, the rezoning will not substantially impair or limit the current or future agricultural use of surrounding parcels of land that are zoned for or legally restricted to agricultural uses. Yes. Town Plan Commission recommend approval. And Commission Chairperson Gary Marks, dated June 10th, 2020. Town Board recommend approval. Town Chairman Gary Marks and Town Clerk Brennan Mazzetti, also dated June 10th, 2020. Thank you. Does the Planning and Zoning Office have a recommendation? Thank you, Mr. Chairman. We do. We, we would recommend approval of this. It seems to, to make a lot of sense for them. Okay, and I, I'm, I will go on record as the adjoining property owner for the South. I am fine with this. So, uh, can, make a motion? can the chair make a motion? You can. You can. I will make Did a you motion. see you the property on the south? Right here. Right yeah. Right. That one. You can make a motion. Ah. Monday got a job for him. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'll make, I, I move to approve this. This, what do we got here? Conditional okay. use permit. I better look. No, zone map amendment. Zone map amendment. <laughs> I move to approve the zone map amendment for the, for the Wasser family or local trust. Uh, and I don't believe there's any conditions put on this at all. So I'll second that. Thank you. Uh, moved by uh, Supervisor Nygaard, seconded by Supervisor Kussman. Roll call vote Kussman. Buck. Yes. Federwitz. Yes. yes. Murphy. Yes. Nygaard. Yes. Thank you. Motion is closed. Second. Second. Moved and seconded by Supervisor Kussman. Seconded by seven. Supervisor Muck to close this hearing. Kussman. Yes. Muck. Yes. Metterwitz. Yes. Yes. Murphy. Yes. Nygaard. Yes. Okay. Thank you, everybody. I'm going to hop off now. Thank you, Diane. Bye. Thank you, Diane. Thank you. Yeah, take care, everybody. Yeah. Thanks, Diane. Thank you. I need it. I got a little, little plumped up there in the beginning, but ah, uh, <laughs> oh, you got it. You got it. Okay. In the minutes to be perfect. Sorry about that. Yeah, didn't mean to throw you out like that. You think I wasn't awake? Yeah. Yeah. You put me on the head. All right. Mm -hmm. Upcoming meeting. Yeah. Ooh, upcoming meeting. So we have July 28th is scheduled out already. Um, so then we're looking down the road here, um, August 25th and September 1st. Oh my. Okay. Meetings. If that works for everybody. I think you still got a bunch coming, don't you? We we got the hopper is, is still full. Yes. So the, the September 1st one is in particular, we have a at least one comprehensive plan that got done this week, and we might have another one done next week to be able to piggyback with it. Um, those require 30 days. Well, when is Labor Day this year? It is the 7th. The 7th. Okay. It's late. It's late, yes. So, we, right, we didn't want to have it on the 8th after Labor Day. It's hard to, hard to come back from Labor Day for a, a meeting. Well, what are you saying? So the, <laughs> <laughs> so the 25th of August and the 1st of September. <laughs> Okay. <clears throat> How's that look for everybody? Probably okay. But we got to decide which one, right? No, no, both. All actually. of them. Both, both of them. Of them. Oh, sorry. I, yeah. They just keep coming, which is a good thing, but it's a lot. Yeah. 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 That's interesting about today. We thought that today would be on a day we'd have been going to at least one or so, but we knocked out six hearings in a in a little over an hour. Well, it, it, we, it's, it's pretty straightforward. Yes. yes. Thank goodness for that. Yep. Makes a difference whether they had chickens or horses. Yeah. <laughs> well, one was horses. One was oh, horses. Yeah. Yeah, no yeah. Well, I, I'm glad it came up like uh, with the highway 45 because I hate to have an accident. Oh, oh, that, was, that was an excellent point. That was, yeah. 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 It's tricky to find that driveway. Well, it's it, easy to drive past it. You got a trailer with a big, big truck, you know, it's like, uh, yeah. you know how. Yeah. Highway 45 is a weekend. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and when you say that, I think their speeder was sign is, is, is parallel to the road, not at a right angle to it. And sure. There and stop. Sure. It was good that Casey was in the audience today. That, 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 that question right away. Back in about 1973 or four, I can't remember which, 
on the 4th of July weekend, we had a five fatality accident about a mile north of there, just south of that first curve by the wayside. Oh. And at that time, Dennis Nybar and I were the only two traffic officers that were working. And that was, uh, that was our day, I'll tell you. Five right. people killed them. Um, two, three from Milwaukee, uh, the fireman and his wife, and 10 year old son. And uh, two kids, well, I shouldn't say kids, teenagers uh, from Green Bay they came up. That's when Ann used to go, uh, or was that Ann, or in the sugar bush up on the north side of that woods. Yeah. And then after that, they cut the road through so it was a square intersection. Oh. But they, they came, the kids came from the north, and there was a car waiting to make a left turn. Yep. Instead of going around them on the left, or on the right, they took them around on the left, mm -hmm. head on into the one from Milwaukee. I'll never forget that. In fact, it's a, it still is a record five and one action killed in our county. Mm -hmm. that's, that's that was, I'll never forget that day. So, um, on sites. So, we wanted to have a discussion on how we're handling on sites going forward. Because uh, there's been some discussion on there being it being fairly bit of a challenge, right? The, the system that we have set up right now. So we're looking at going back into more of a, you know, the way it what it somewhat was before, uh, in terms of you know, one having one of us from the office go on site with you. Can I kind of have that go do a once over of what we're looking at and the, that type of thing? Uh, but what, I just wanted to have a discussion on this agenda to talk about how we're going to be handling that because it's going to be tricky in order for us to be able to carpool uh it's going to be hard to do that and so i know i know i had initial conversation uh, with uh, uh, supervisor Cussman on this and while it seems it's going to be quite the parade having a lot of vehicles but i don't know how else to really do it to be honest with you in order in terms of uh, carpooling so I, I technically don't mind this way, like we're doing it. The only time it gets a little tricky, but I have my plat book mm -hmm. yeah. and I can read descriptions mm -hmm. coming from, we always had a plat amount for farms. So I have no problem with this. Um, and it also enables me if I'm traveling down here for some other reason, I can go buy that instead of making a separate trip. So yeah, I don't yeah, mind this. That's, yeah, I, you know, they used to get the uh, thing and there'd be a little hand-drawn map as to how to get to the place to, that would be nice. I was going to say the same thing, Kenny. You know, I, I agree with, with Dick, uh, Dwayne. Uh, you know, as far as the way it's going, it's going okay. With the exception of some of these, like that camper thing. Mm -hmm. You know, if you could be a little more descriptive on where that camper is going to be, to the field, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, we can try to we can try to be a little better with the, the yeah. maps that we generate for that. that no, this one was one that was pretty. Yeah. Right. There, there used to always be a little. And, 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 and uh, for those locations, I think what Dennis is getting at have a separate thing we can look at just for the location, not all of other maps that go with it. You know what I'm saying? So, would, just would you, a map. Would you like, I mean, if, if we are doing these separate, would you like it for there to be a map that goes straight from your place of residence to, to the different, would that so be would beneficial? That be, would that just seems like it'll be a lot of work for you? It's actually, it's actually really simple. Yeah, uh, uh, I use my flat book and I also like uh, Dwayne and I, I went to Hard Road one day and I went down 45 because I was going to the Green Bull for something else. Sure. I had been with Casey on the Griffin one. So, you know, uh, it, it to me, I can find it now. Now that I know what I'm doing, other than like I said, when you put that trailer there, all I seen was a big open field. I said, "Well, okay, now I see a field. So what does that mean to me? I mean, okay, now when you get here, I understand it. But when I'm looking at it, I'm looking at a, a field. So, uh, so a more right specific, wood. more specific mm -hmm. on a hearing for hearing, not necessarily the whole route. You can get. You yeah. can get to the ballpark. You just want to know where to yeah. what seat. Yeah. Just a mini okay. I think okay. we can probably work out. Yeah. 
because if you if I have to, I can use my GPS as far as that. If you put the uh, address address on there, sure. okay, okay, you, you know, I, 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 you got my a, GPS you got will get me there. Number. Fire number if they have it, one. It, fire number, yeah, yeah. yeah, because a couple of them uh, didn't have a. Uh, a fire number, you know. Well, okay, now am I looking here or there or you know it, it yeah we can I'm looking at 40 acres uh because I made it I made a couple of U-turns today just to make sure I knew what I was looking at. I did it's not that I was complaining because it's yeah I, I was having fun today because <laughs> I I was I was here an hour early because sure. I, I I did in two different stages. Well, okay, now how long is it gonna take me to get from Marion down to Helvetia, you know, or someplace, and uh, right. so I, I had plenty of time. So I like it. That's fun. I guess I'm, I'm hearing too that different times are, are good too. If you're on the, I mean, we probably have to notice it. If you just get it out a couple yeah. of weeks ahead of time. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. It's funny when when I started here, we do sanitary inspections before we require fire numbers. Now, if you have a fire number, you drive right to it. Back in those days, sometimes you'd have to drive to the the quarter quarter. Get out of your truck and listen to see if you could hear an excavator to try to find and it. And it's where you know you're going. Right. It was uh, not that much fun. We'll try to make this more fun. Okay. So a little bit sooner you would like it, so it give you more time to to do these. Okay. More uh, more descriptive map, something that's showing you exactly more of a where the dot is, where it's a little bit more descriptive in terms of what. Okay. Uh, we want to make sure that we're including fire numbers if they have one, so you'd be able to use that for your GPS. And we've been trying to include the fire. If there is a fire yeah. number, we include it. But I mean, no. I know like the Griffin property, thank goodness that's a great big truck was sitting out there by yeah. I knew where it was. Otherwise, yeah. if I knew it was the southwest and the southwest. Mm -hmm. I, being on the highway, I, I knew where that one was going to be and what it was all about prior to the meeting, you know, yeah. an art sure. committee meeting. But yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, I think that's all very doable. Oh, do, we, do we need to reword our, our meeting notice on this? I, I think we conducted yeah, on yeah. site meetings. Right. right. I think we, we actually not, have to notice it. I don't know what day we were there yeah. because it's going to be different for all of us. Right. Yeah. But yeah. If somebody yeah. wants to get yeah. nitpicky, we right. can work with Diane. We'll work with Diane to get the language figured out to, to make it known that it's not going to necessarily be that morning, sure. but it will be prior to the meeting. Right. So we'll work with her on the language on that. We don't know when, like, we didn't know you had to go to Babylon or something and talk to him on the way out. Sure. We right. don't know that until no. after the fact. Well, no, sure. it just happened to be, but I like it was my job, route you know, to get there. So, that okay. on Horn Road, I showed that house about a dozen times in the last year. Oh, oh exactly. So, you know that one pretty well. I know exactly what, what that one's all about. Sure. But, uh, Anyway, that, that would be helpful. Sure. Okay. And for those of you that came across this where there's no bridge put in, that's strictly chairman of the town of Larrabee Division. It's nothing else to promote. <laughs> you don't want to spend well, money. Well, yeah, I, I came running. from I went to Iola Hilvation and I went to that one and thought, oh, I haven't gone on a night ski road for a while and kind of yeah. zigzagged some back roads. You get there, like, ah, Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. this bridge has been out for a long time. Yeah, it's been, it's been a while. Yeah, you didn't even try to jump it. <laughs> Just <laughs> ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, that was a pretty property, though, but that driveway on the one side is like, whoa. Give me vertigo. Yeah. <laughs> you, you do not have it on the agenda, though. You did have this meeting here regarding the building inspector. How many How many did attend or were either way or? We have a dozen or something? I at least say, I would say a dozen different municipalities. Yeah. Now I see by the Wisconsin Towns Association that the town of was it Lynn or Dayton was looking for a building inspector. Lynn was Lynn. here. Yeah. Yep, yep, Lynn. Yep, Steve Gall and, and well, Lynn. two people yeah. that participated. Yeah. They they had noticed sort of shortly yep. was before the last county board meeting because who's the new supervisor from Lynn that side? Oh, uh, 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 Jack's place. Yep. Uh, uh, she came up and asked me, and I said, it's Mary to those guys. Or Mary Craig. No, no Mary Craig's Manawa. I think Mary it's a Craig's Manawa. Cindy Hardy. Cindy Hardy. That's Cindy Hardy. Hardy. Yeah. We're, we're anticipating a few other municipalities jumping on. Oh, yeah. Yeah. After the meeting, I've already got emails from the city of Wapaka and also the city uh, of the village of Embarrass. 
So under Berkowitz yes. at the meeting too, who's been a, a inspector for Wapaka and, and strong yeah, and yeah. Yep, and he's he's uh, he's not going to keep on too much longer either. Motion I just got to pick on yep. the chair. Motion to adjourn. Meeting okay, though, move, I, move I didn't to adjourn. Him. <laughs> we just need a second. Done, right? For adjourn. We just need. Yep. Somebody second it. I don't, I don't know. He's technically oh, it's not a debatable sure. item. It's not a debatable. Okay. okay. Good. Thank you. Ah, ah. Did everybody get a chance to sign the resolution? No. Oh. Terry, did you, you sign it? Are they working on that letter yet?